Hi, it's Honey, and you're watching Alter Daily. Okay, um, so I'm a DJ, and I've been DJing for a little while now. Um, yeah, that's what I am. I'm a DJ. I play music for people to dance and enjoy. Um, so I kind of just started with, on like the software. So I had Virtual DJ on my laptop, and I just used to mess around with that. Yeah, everything is like Afro. So like South African house music, normal Afro beats. Um, and then like I discovered like so many different music like Afro Trap so like the French side of things which is amazing honestly I feel like Nigerians don't even listen to like enough diverse African music but there's so much out there so I'm bringing that to you guys I went to the University of Leicester it was cool I mean there was enough people I'm like the family and the friends I have made from that experience tops it off when I started, so I started in my, at the end, no, so I started summer before my third year. But then my third year, I went to France for a year abroad, which is when I got exposed to like the Afro-Francophone side of things. Um, so I was DJing there and then I came back for my final year and I wasn't really DJing because I was studying so I could pass, which I did really well. Um, so yeah. Yeah, there are some pretty cool female DJs out there i love all of them love all of you <laughs> sorry i do 100 percent. yes yes every single one of them because um no there's no such thing um <laughs> i think everyone brings something different to the table um and i love like watching people and females excel in their whatever it is they're doing their craft and just being like when it's like a female duty it's like i can relate to your struggles so it's just all the better Everyone is bringing something to the table and there's enough space for everyone. Um, it's like people, like nobody just listens to, actually there are people who do that. I'm not going to say nobody listens to just like one type of music. Um, but I love it. I love the diversity. And it also like encourages and it makes the older generation uncomfortable. So it's like, oh, where am I lane? I'm doing my thing. But then it's like, this guy comes up. Santi comes up and then he's making all these moves and you're like, oh, okay, maybe I can learn a thing or two from this guy who's bringing something different mm -hmm. or just different stuff. And yeah, I love it. Island block, pa block party in general, mainland. I've done mainland as well, but I think island was bigger. I'm not sure. But the whole block party thing, I think it's really cool because they try, so they try and put like a lot of people on. So there's like a bunch of DJs on the lineup and like being there is an experience in itself. So I get to play and like vibe with the crowd and I try to bring something different because like people will hear their whiskey, their burner and they'll be hyped and everything. But it's like there's going to be a DJ that plays that. So it doesn't have to be me. Um, so when I do that, I just try to bring something else to the table um, and I just feed off the energy of the crowd. And I just love it that like there are people dancing and not focusing too much on the lyrics or trying to sing along and they're just vibing, um, which is pretty amazing. So yeah, that was that was dope. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> So let me tell you, let me tell you what patriarchy is doing to us. So it's like everything's about men, right? And then the few opportunities that come up for women, it's like, oh, shit, I have to be the one. Like, it has to be me. So there's like an event and they want like one female DJ. Oh, my God, it has to be me. Like, it can't be you because, oh, are they really going to have like three female DJs on the lineup type? Shit? Like, I don't know, which is why. Yeah. So we women do have to, you know, do our own. Shit. But it's, it's, it's challenging because as a like i've been in lagos for like over a year now and i tell you that the experience living here as a woman is so different like things are different when you have a guy my sister's wedding the guy said i cannot park my car like in front and then my uncle came and he goes like oh no him he can park his car there i'm like are you okay like like i was that that's like the angriest i've been and that happened recently um so it's just little things like it's literally the basic things so everything just builds up. So small things like where to park your car. The Alternative Network.